For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in percent local app data percentage sign and click on enter. Once you're on this, we're going to scroll down and then click on temp. And then once you're on this, you want to scroll down even more and you want to find the Roblox folder. I don't have it because it's not installed on my computer, but you're going to have a folder which says Roblox on it. Once you see it, you want to right click on it and then click on show more options and then click on delete. Don't worry, this will do nothing bad. These are just the Roblox temporary files, so just delete it. Once you do that, you want to right click on your recycle bin, click on empty recycle bin and then click on yes. For the next step, if you play Roblox in your browser, you want to head over to the browser that you play on. So I want to head over to Chrome and then I'm going to click on the three dots in the top right and then head over to settings. Then I'm going to head over to privacy and security and I'm going to click on the third party cookies. Then I'm going to scroll down and click on see all site data and permissions. Then you want to click on the bin icon next to Roblox and then click on delete. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in add remove programs, click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to scroll down and then you want to look for Roblox. I don't have it installed, but you're going to have Roblox. You want to delete everything that says Roblox on it. For example, it may say Roblox or Roblox Play for Asus, Roblox Studio or Roblox Studio for Asus. You want to delete all of that. The way to delete it is by clicking on the three dots and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall again and then uninstall it. Once you uninstall all of that, then you want to reinstall it either from the Microsoft Store or from your web browser. For the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to expand display adapters and then we're going to right click on our graphics card and click on update driver. Then we're going to click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then we're going to go back and click on Browse My Computer for Drivers. And then click on Let Me Pick from a List. And then you want to select the second one and then click on Next and install it. See if that works. After you do all the steps in this video, restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. Make sure you click on Restart. Don't shut down, click on Restart.